Hello and welcome to my crypto world. This is a new uh, little show I'm going to do on YouTube, and, and people may want to know, well, why why are you doing it? Well, I know when we uh, people who who hunt Bigfoot and uh, do UFOs and ghosts and things like that, a lot of times all the only thing you get to see from us is our little short YouTube clips or maybe a post or something every once in a while. And it gets kind of gets less personal. You just don't really get to know the person. So one of my goals in doing this little, little stupid show is uh, to let you get to know me a little bit more. And maybe my personality. Some of you probably won't like me. Some of you probably will. It doesn't really matter. Life's going on anyways. Uh, even though I do take my Bigfoot research and things like that seriously, I, my actual personality is... I like to joke and cut up and have a good time. So this little show uh, will probably be kind of weird at times. Uh, hopefully, maybe a little bit funny, other than my appearance. And uh, I guess I have to call this episode one, lack of a better term. But during the process of doing all this, we will also be discussing real, uh, real cases, real reports, or whatever. But uh, this is just kind of a, a, a an, an amended version, a short version, or whatever, uh, of uh, what the show is going to be about. Even though I don't want to want the show to run very long, uh, you know, as in for a time frame. Uh, what can I talk about today, other than why I'm doing the show? Hmm. Good question. But in anywho, I just uh, I guess I could want to use it as a way to try to connect more with people on a more personal level uh, uh, you probably see my opinion on on other videos or uh, my opinion on uh, photographs of Bigfoot or UFOs or whatever and you don't really get to know me and I don't really get to know you you may have just a, a different opinion of me once you get to know me maybe good maybe bad I don't really know uh, so I thought I would do this just a little short series or whatever you want to call it on YouTube and and uh, I might even, I think what that's all I, I think I'll do uh, I will uh, I'll take some questions I'll uh, let the email I'll pop up the email come on see if I can get it right right in between there the email if you'll email me at this email address I will uh, Try to answer any questions that you may send me mm, about Bigfoot, UFOs, or the meaning of life, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you want to send me. Uh, nothing. I don't want to see nothing bad, though. So, uh, so maybe send a question, and I'll do another episode of this, and, and maybe answer your question. If I can. I, maybe I can. Maybe you have something I can't answer. I don't know. But, uh, but for this episode, uh, episode one, uh, I want I want to tell you just a little bit about. I wanted I wanted to tell you a little bit about what the show was going to consist of, and what my kind of my purpose of it is. With that said, I do want to share with you uh, a report that's that's not been filed with me, but it was told to me personally by a guy. I had, uh, it's been about a month ago, I went fishing, maybe some of you follow me on Facebook, uh, have seen the pictures where we caught the walleye, uh, it was good too by the way, we ate them, and uh, there was a guy that drove by, he pulled in, him and another man, they'd watched us, they was watching us fish, and uh, they watched for a little while, and then they left, well a few minutes later they come back, and they parked behind my truck and I had been sitting there for a while my, just watching this fish I didn't think nothing about it it's just you know something happens sometimes anyway my dad went up there and started talking to the guys and they wanted to know about my that sticker on the back of my truck I have a crypto crew sticker on the back of my truck and the guy wanted to know so well what's that sticker my dad said well that's uh, uh, a picture of Bigfoot I mean that's a sticker of Bigfoot my son does Bigfoot so the man said, well, uh, have him come up here and talk to me. I got someone I want to talk to him about. 
Told my dad hollers at me to go up there and talk to the guy. And uh, we're just having a general conversation about Bigfoot. And then he says, he looks at us and he says, well, I want to tell, tell you something that happened to me that I've only told about 10 people in my, you know, my life. So I said, okay, go ahead. He said, first thing he told me, he said, well, I'm a person that gets mad real easy. So I've not told anybody this because if they'd make, you know, make fun of me, I would have got mad. I'd have wanted to maybe fight or whatever. And I said, okay, so you don't have to worry about me making fun of you. Just, you know, let me hear what you got to say. And uh, he told me that him and his wife and maybe his granddaughter, I believe is what he told me, they were, uh, they were fishing. And they was, going, they was fishing up into, into the night. And the, that it kind of got cooler. You know, the temperature dropped and the, and the baby was, it was a young child. It got tired and kind of whiny, wanting to go home, whatever. So they decided to quit fishing and load back up and go home. Or at original, that was the original plan, from what I understand. Well, they got in the truck and the baby's laying down, kind of sleeping in the lap of the mother or the grandmother. And the grandmother told the man, said, "Well, let's uh, before we leave, let's let's let's, let's ride through the park and and maybe see if we can spot a bear." So. They're riding through the park, uh, and as they're going up the up the road, they the man told me he said he said I seen something next to the garbage can. He said I thought it was a bear. He said so I uh, stopped the truck and quickly backed up and swung it around to where the lights hit right where the thing was. And so he said he said I still thought it was a bear at first. He said and then it stood up. He said I just froze there. And uh, he said I had a, a 357 stuck down in beside the seat. He said, but I didn't think nothing about, you know, shooting or anything. I was just, I just kind of froze. He said the thing was kind of picking around on the garbage can. You know, in the park they have the garbage cans, and they got a uh, normally they got got like a wooden frame like around them. And he said it was kind of picking at the garbage. He said it stood up and it ran across the road, and. Said he went down the side of a, uh, of, a, of the mountain, side of the forest, you know, the, the, wow, the woods. He said you could hear. It. He said it sounded like a team of horses running down there. I said you could it just you stuff falling, knocking, tiring everywhere. And uh, he said we was just froze. And he said that uh, once it got so far down there, the sound stopped. You know, if it turned up everything. And uh, he said it let out a a a, a, a funny sound. And at this point, I told him, I said, well, was it like a whoop? He said, yes, yeah. and it was kind of like that, but it's much deeper. He said, then right after he did that, said on the other ridge, said there was a, a return call that made a whoop sound, said, but it was, it was uh, not as deep. He said, so I thought it was probably a female, and this was a male. And said, so now after he whooped back, said the one that was over on the other ridge, Said you could hear it, you know, tearing through the forest, knocking stuff down, and said they once it got all the way over, you could hear it get over to where the male had went down the bank and stopped, and made the original whoop. He said that. Uh, said then the two you could hear both of them going through the mountains, you know, stuff falling around. Said then once it just went quiet. And he said, I, he said, now I, he tell here's what the man told me. He said, I hate to tell people that I saw a Bigfoot. He said, but I don't know what it was. I said, it definitely wasn't a bear. He said, but I hate to say it's a Bigfoot. He said, I started watching the, some of those Finding Bigfoot shows, and he said, some of those. So some of it's kind of weird, he said. And, said, and But that, that was the story he told me, and I thought, and I gave him my business card and talked to him a little bit and everything and, and told him to, uh, you know, report it with me. He never did, so I'm, I'm sharing it this way, and I thought it was a pretty interesting story. And the guys with him had several stories too where he'd heard things and see things, but they wasn't as much detail in them as what he had told me. So, uh, I, so far I hope you like this show and what, we're, what I'm going to try to do. And But, uh, I don't know, that's just kind of how, you know, what the man told me and I thought it was very interesting. And, and this happened this happened in Kentucky. I won't give the exact location or nothing like that. But, uh, allergies are bothering me. But I just want to use this as an effort to connect with people. And I hope you like this first episode or whatever. And if uh, maybe we can do another one in a few days or talk about something different. 
I've got some things I want to talk about. I want to talk about trail cams for one. Uh, and I want to talk about some techniques maybe that uh, are effective or that I've used that maybe are not effective or that I'm going to keep trying. Uh, you know, if you quit doing it, it's, you ain't got no chance. So, so you just keep doing it and hope it works or change it a little bit and hope it works out that way. But thanks for watching this episode and I hope you hope you like it and don't forget to send those questions in now because I'm expecting some questions and some easy ones though I want some softball questions like I was running for maybe the presidency or something like that and you could give me them softball like what kind of food do you like uh, I like the kind you eat but uh, softball questions that's what I'm looking for plenty of softball questions because the hard ones I like, like I never got them well anyway thanks for watching the uh, the first episode and uh, I'll see you maybe for episode two. Tell your friends. If you like the show, tell your friends about it. If you don't like it, just keep it quiet and maybe I'll get better. See ya.